Uh -huh. We think someone is yes. pulling tricks on us already. We haven't even, we just got on the air. We think old Doris Ford is going to pull another one on us. Doris Ford, who normally works behind the scenes on Cooking Cheap and who last year came on our show one time and ruined all of us, <laughs> is, is due back on the show again today as a guest. Well, I got news for I'm not eating anything today. <laughs> I'm not eating anything that's breaded and deep fried. I can tell you that. She ruined us last year once and for all. Anyway, she's supposed to be on this show, supposed to be here right now, left just before we came on. We don't know why, right. but we're suspicious. She's probably going to come in wearing the big bird costume. But anyway, we'll see. Letters. We got, we got, oh, yeah, listen to this one. Dear Laban and Larry, I always enjoy your show. It always puts a smile on my face. Your recipes don't have a dozen expensive spices and herbs or hard-to-find ingredients. When I read a recipe that has an ingredient I don't use, I toss it aside. The last show, when Laban started to complain about the sealed cottage cheese, I remembered something that happened to my mother and me several years ago. We were in a local supermarket when we witnessed a lady pulling up one end of the plastic wrap on a beef roast. She put her hand inside and was feeling the meat. <laughs> Mom poked me in the ribs and we moved on to the dairy case. There a man removed the top from a large cotton, a carton of cottage cheese. He stuck his finger in it and tasted it. He must have liked it as he purchased one, but not the one he opened. <laughs> I was appalled, so every time I remove one of those protective seals, I remember this shopping trip. Oh, that's terrible. Come on, Laban, it only takes a few seconds. <laughs> oh, well. And that's from Renee Evans in Roanoke, Virginia. Well, Renee, thanks. Forewarned is forearmed. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Please, Larry, tell me where you got the Italian ham used in one of those recipes. Here in Bluefield, West Virginia, we don't have gourmet shops. We lucky we even have grocery stores. No, it doesn't say that. It says even in grocery stores, we come to Roanoke once a month to get provisions. It doesn't even say that, but I'm making this up at this point. Anyway, she goes on to say, you know, about how, you know, we, we use this recipe and she can't find this stuff. Now, I explained, darling, for five minutes during the show that you can buy Italian ham for Scudo at a gourmet shop, usually, or you can even find it in the meat department of the larger department stores. Uh, uh, department uh, stores. <laughs> grocery stores. Grocery stores. In the deli department. You might be able to find it in the luggage department <laughs> of the department store. Anyway, I, I explained all that, but thank you anyway. And uh, another thing, you could substitute. There's no rule against that. You, yeah. could, you could use regular a, ham, a Virginia ham or just any kind of ham in there, so that'd be all right. Dear Two Crazy Cooks, your downfall is that you unfortunately were not born in Virginia, but keep up the crazy cooking anyway. I love it. Nellie Garvey, I believe that is, of Lynchburg, Virginia. Well, Nell, <laughs> let me tell you something, doll. I wasn't born in Virginia, but I was here all but one year of my life. Thank you. And Nell, I was born in Virginia. I was born and bred in Virginia, and my family's been in Virginia since the King of England granted them title to the land. Oh, my so heavens. don't get on us about not being <laughs> born in Virginia. We are. We are. We are. Who do you think we are? What does she think we are? Some kind of carpet baggers, cooking carpet baggers from somewhere? Give us a break, honey. Well, you reckon Doris is going to show up for I don't her? Know. Um, I I wouldn't put anything big by her because they're signifying to her on the camera. So I guess we better go over to our section of the counter should and we go try to, the, to cook. Should we go to the yes, counter? We'll go. go to the counter, and then we'll see. Something what, is no good about all of this, but I don't know what it is. Well, she's going to pull. Oh, Laban, did you leave something oh, here? Look. <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sake. This is oh, and she's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> We're innocent. <laughs> oh, that looks so pretty in color. That is the loveliest green this is how I've Harold ever seen. And I go hunting. Oh. Is it really? Oh, I, usually, really. <laughs> I usually have two chairs one oh, for him. I don't know whether I want to be a part of the show or not. <laughs> well, I, I, I think well I do. and another thing, what? I read in the TV, well, channel markers, that this was. Cook's revenge, so I brought my gun. Well, <laughs> right. what are you going to prepare for us on this special Venice, special today? Venison. Venison. And we just want to show you look like. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Laban, did you leave something here? Oh no. <laughs> uh, that's. That set of brains belongs to one of our employees here at the station. Well, while the very darling semi-hysterical. Uh, uh, 
Doris Ford. Doris Ford gets all of her stuff taken off. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to make. Laven and I are just going to make some little things to go along. There you are. To go along with what she's making. We knew she was going to make a venison stew. I'm doing a deep fried cauliflower. And I'll just tell you very quickly that prior to going on, I put this, it does look like, I, I put it in a little salt water and boiled it just for a few minutes. And now I'm going to cut it up into florets. And I'm going to stick it in breadcrumbs and wheat germ. And then I'm going to put it, dredge it through some eggs and do that again. And I'm going to deep fry it. And that's what I'm going to be doing for a while because we've got a lot to do today. And I thought I'd just get it out of the way. Laban, what are you fixing? Well, I'm doing a bean salad. And I'm starting out with a half a cup of vinegar that has boiled away a little bit. So I've got to add some more to it. And a one pound can of applesauce. And I'm going to mix those together in this uh, pan over here. And we'll let those go while I work on the other things here. All right. And the lovely Doris is back, having made her grand appearance. And Doris, if you want to get started, start your engines. Okay. Well, uh, Hal and I went hunting, and he did get a deer. I don't know if it laughed itself to death or if he really shot it. <laughs> 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 if you could have seen us going through the woods, we weren't going to get killed, you she know. Comes we... with lines. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We've been thinking about this. And another thing we thought about too, you know, this is supposed to be cooking cheap stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we have two ways of looking at this. You go out and you hunt this deer that's running around in somebody's field. It don't cost you anything. Or you uh, look at fifteen dollars for your license, two hundred dollars for the gun. And everything else, and it's fifty dollars a pound for this piece of meat. <laughs> oh my heavens! Sure, for appearing on the program. That's today. what you're going to give me today. Give you this lovely uh, cauliflower stem. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I want to show people I have divided my stuff into florets. <laughs> florets. These, yeah, these are the lovely little florets. If you want to see them? The lovely florets. Oh, that's sounds my like fine a, pie pan. A dancing. Gr oh my <laughs> heavens! Were you expecting to use that today? No, I was expecting to take it home. Well, <laughs> well, you will take that home as well as the other right. pot that I got for you that you let yeah. me last week on the show. Now, what, let me just show you very quickly what I'm going to do here, and then we can get on with uh, the, the excitement of the deer. First thing you do is you dredge this thing in the bread, bread crumbs and the, the bread <laughs> crumbs and then in the uh, uh, toasted wheat germ. That'll look very toasted to me, uh -huh. but anyway. Then you take this and you drag it through the egg and then you go back through this dredging process again, this drudgery process. Doris has left again. Oh, you know, I'm a little no. worried about this program. Our cracked sound operator has oh, noticed that. Oh, dear. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is reach all the way across Johnson and put this in and fry it in some oil, which I have heating up. And there it is. And that lovely, the lovely oil frying. All right, Laban. I guess well, it's just you and I again. Right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing now. I have to have yeah. two cups of sliced celery. So mm. I got some celery hearts on the market today and celery heart mm -hmm. and so I'm slicing it and I washed it out real good this is a, a good way to do it when you've got celery hearts if you just leave it all on the a on heart the of celery mm -hmm. and you can kind of watch if you think you got dirt down in there but if you wash it out let the water run through it and sling it around a little bit it'll be okay you know, while Doris is gone, we may want to say some things about her. Mm-hmm. I've heard a few things. <laughs> I'm pass around here while we're on the air. Welcome Did back, you get Doris. Her hook, hooked back up. Oh, Maureen oh, is trying. So uh, they're working on it. Well, That's you know, right. Larry, this is the concluding show of, of the 800 of the series. 800 series. It is. It is. And uh, it's hard to believe, but you know, we have done now on to 200. Oh, no wonder I'm so tired. <laughs> of these shows. And uh, it's just amazing. It really is. Time is just flying away. Do I have really two cups is. in there yet? I don't think so. No, I think you need to do a little bit more, Johnson. And I'm just continuing to dredge and dredge and back into the egg and, and back into the egg. Both of these again. recipes are real healthy for you. Oh, they are. They're excellent for you. No doubt about that. I don't they think really you got are. Your you know, I don't think so either. I think you need, it's going to oil you. soak for sure if we don't get turned up a little bit. All right, now I believe that she's back. <laughs> Let's see what she wants to do. 
<laughs> I think she's forgotten her recipe. Go ahead. Doris. Okay, we're doing, uh, cutting up some venison, and if you, <clears throat> you have a, uh, there's a membrane, I might not have time to get all up. Oh, there's heavens, a, <laughs> Doris. Can you, let me move this away. Coming on here talking about <laughs> membrane. <laughs> well, the, this piece right here, if you can get all of this off, or most of it anyhow, it takes, uh, that's with a bad taste, what I call bad taste, I don't like this stuff, but the wild taste is a lot in there. Gamey. And you can take that, if you get that off, it, it helps. And that we so far we've always gotten doughs given to us or how coated dough, and I think they taste better myself. But mm, that Harold's <laughs> quite the sport, isn't he? Yeah, he's. So I'm, I'm just cutting up some uh, beef. Uh, I mean, Bit some the deer's head we're off doing. with his teeth. They got me all. <laughs> take it all back out again. <laughs> First, I want to put the vegetables in because with the crock pot, you have to put the vegetables on the bottom. And I cut up about four carrots. Now, Doris, you reckon those uh, carrots will be done by the no. end of the program? No, definitely not. Oh, like okay. <laughs> but I, you like crunchy, don't you? Johnson, I get a little nervous when Doris comes on. <laughs> well, put, uh, put four, four, uh, from four to six carrots, depending on, you know, how many you want. Laban's I getting ready four. to drain something. No, no, go oh. ahead. All right, I'll just open them up. And, and quarter, about four potatoes. So I have most of it ready. Okay, and then you can put your meat on top. Doris's grand youngins are in the audience today. Yeah, they're being very quiet too. They are. <laughs> well, I guess so. I mean, you'd be quiet too if you had a hand across your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, little muzzles on them. <laughs> they, well, they got some of the staff back there rocking them. <laughs> Oh, bless her heart. It's good to know the staff is good for something. Yes, it is. Well, Doris, that is a lovely. It is a beautiful ugly? piece of meat. This, is, this was a shoulder piece that Harold had. It's a lot leaner than beef, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he can he can see with the heart. This yes. Is yeah. See, this is a little bit. You can trim all this off if you mm -hmm. have time. But really, that's it. There's mm -hmm. no fat whatsoever on it. But if you well, can get all beautiful. this off. No doubt about that. I don't know about <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> and uh, well, whoop. keep talking. Okay. Yeah, Doris, don't expect <laughs> us to carry you through this show. Okay, yeah. I just you asked for it. You got it, Toyota. <laughs> well, I didn't ask for it this year, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, Doris. Oh, I don't know. A lot of us think that you asked for it last year. Right. <laughs> For those that care right now, I'm draining uh, several cans of vegetables that I'm going to put into this salad. Well, They're all right. one pound cans, and this is a, happens to be a one pound can of kidney beans. Hey, love those kidney beans. And this is a one pound can of green beans that I'm draining out now. Well, I've seen all these florets are getting a little brown on the bottom. I've got to turn them over, got to turn them over. They're looking real pretty. Look at that, I'm doing it with my bare hands. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> they are, oh, look at that, Doris. I'm gonna have to there. give you one of these in a couple of minutes. These are fabulous, just fabulous. I want you to try well, one that, of these. That's sort of an Italian type thing. They for, are for beautiful. Cooking, for cooking. Woo, they are pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. Pretty. Coming out real lovely. Is that another one, Laban's? Now I'm draining a one pound can of sauerkraut, chopped. Well, Laban's just draining. And I hope they Badly. have the good sense to uh, <laughs> rinse out the bottom, the catch basin of our sink. Being that this is the last show of the year, there's nothing worse than coming back a year from now and they haven't, you know. Well, it's me. not very nice. It oh. just. Okay, now I'm going to put in. We all got two bay leaves. Did you uh, say two babies? Two bay leaves. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you said there. But no. Okay. Now I have the granulated mix like uh, bouillon, but you can use the regular big, uh, the regular bouillon because I put two teaspoons of bouillon, the granulated bouillon, or you can put two bouillon cubes. And. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's, 
You can hustle two, it up a little bit. Okay, uh, two, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just two kidding. teaspoons of paprika. I was going to say, Harold's guns uh, due back at the rental place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Salt and pepper to taste. I, you have to uh, judge on this more or less yourself. Cause judge for yourself. Really, I, I don't know how much to put in. <laughs> With a crock pot, I find that you have to put more. Do you do a lot of crock pot cooking, Doris? No, only like when we're coming down here or we go to auction. Everybody or was crock pot <laughs> cooking. Okay. okay, now I have to add beer. Yeah. Now I have two kinds. You all want any later? So which one should What's I What's that, Doris? <laughs> we weren't paying oh. much attention to you. What? I said I have Mexican beer and the other. Which oh, one, which a one chihuahua. Do you want? Which one do you want to drink? That one? Okay. I can tell that Doris really doesn't know much about beer. I don't know a thing about beer. <laughs> I need an opener. Right here. Oh, I can tell Doris knows a lot about beer. I need, I need Thank you, Doris. I appreciate it. Okay, I have something this needs to go in. Okay, so. good. Need a, and <laughs> and I, what, you add two cans of, uh, of beer to this or to cover. Oh, I'm liking this recipe better all the time. I can tell she knows what Johnson and Bly like. Uh-huh. Now what I got to do, me. excuse me, Laban, I'm sorry, I'll get out right, of your way once you just go right ahead. I got to take some of these and drain them now, drain them off a little towel because we've had them in that uh, peanut oil, deep frying. Aren't they lovely? It's You're going to do some more beautiful. of these, I hope. Oh, sure. I want the whole staff to have some of these. I would, wouldn't want just a couple of people. I mean, this right. is really fancy schmancy. Why don't you try one of these little ones, Doris? Oh, it's hot. Maybe set it down there for a second and don't... Uh, they're, they now, are fabulous. Let, now, I've mixed up my, oh, my yeah. chopped oh, oh, uh, celery and my uh, sauerkraut, my kidney beans and my green beans in this bowl. And now I'm going to add the can of applesauce that I mixed with a half a cup of vinegar into it. And I'm going to just toss this some more here. No, Doris. This is, is a uh, salad dressing on this. I'll, I'll eat no, one with hot. it. I'll eat one Hot. With it. All right. What do you think? You need to use a little salt, probably, couldn't it? Use just a little bit of salt. I think I'll, I think I'll salt them a little. Can I yeah, borrow your salt? They need just a little bit of salting, I believe. All right, thank you. Other than that, what do you think? Would they make nice little uh, yeah, for, hors d'oeuvres? Uh, mm -hmm. But they do. Didn't call for salt? No, it didn't. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even cook them as long as it called to oh, so that they would be. Water. Well, yeah, that's, but that's all. <laughs> You get smart with me now. But anyway, what do you think? That's all right. Hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll do some more here in a minute. All right, where are you uh, with your recipe now? I'm done. You're done? <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean that's all there is well, to it? Well, you have to plug it in. Oh. <laughs> and my crock pot has automatic shift, so you can put it on that and switch over for an hour. Then cook it um, eight to ten hours, or depending on your your venison. Mm -hmm. If you have a nice young one, you know, it won't take Laban, long. that needs to be cut down desperately. Yeah, we're going to burn everything at but this really, point. Really, that's all you have to do, and just that's what I like about the crock pot. Just let it go. Ooh, should we put some more oil in? Yeah, I think that this is rather spent. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull that off for just a couple of seconds here. We're going to have a major fire here on Cooking Cheap, something we haven't had in at least a couple of weeks. I'll pull that off. What I'm going to do. I'm going to. Uh, I think we probably ought to look at these recipes. Can we do that? Larry, I'm going to take these out. Oh, okay. And put them That's right fine. over here. That's fine. And then I'm going to get rid of this and we'll start over with some. Very good. Can we look at our recipes? The deep fried cauliflower, which I'm doing right now. You take an entire head of cauliflower, half a cup of breadcrumbs, quarter cup of toasted wheat germ, two eggs beaten, just dredge that through there four tablespoons of oil for frying it, deep frying it, once you've already pre-cooked it in salt water, all right? And that's that. The bean salad, Laban. Oh, the bean salad has a 16-ounce can of cut green beans, chopped kraut, kidney beans, and applesauce, quarter cup of vinegar, and two cups of chopped raw celery. The the venison, venison stew. stew, one pound venison stew meat cut up, one to two cans of beer to cover meat, two te teaspoons chicken consomme mix of two bouillon cubes, two teaspoons paprika, two bay leaves, salt and pepper to taste, two medium potatoes cut in quarters, six carrots cut up, and two yellow onions quartered. 
That's it? That's it. Just cook it all up. Just Very good. It. I would suggest it might be a good idea to uh, put a little salt in these breadcrumbs or put a little salt in the wheat germ. Don't mm -hmm. you think that'd be a good yeah, idea? That would be the best way, the most expeditious way of, uh, oh, of the putting salt. The cauliflower is so delicious. It really is. Mm -hmm. We'll give you one once we get it real good here. All right. But anyway, how's your bean salad coming along, The bean Johnson? salad now probably ought to be chilled for a while, but we don't have time to do it. You know, Lair, while we're thinking about it, what, Doris, we got a name for the witch, didn't we? Uh, yeah, one Is letter came out of time. <coughs> Is it right over here somewhere? Mm -hmm. Should be on the bottom. Oh, the witches yeah. should be named. This is Nellie that we just got after for accusing us of not being Virginians. Uh, is Ip she said we ought to name the witches' children Ipswich and Sandwich. Ah. <laughs> that's good. I like Ipswich that, darling. Ipswich for the clams and Sandwich for the, uh, well, that's real good. And that's we'll good. let you know. We've yeah. got to talk to, to Ms. Witch and see who she just uh, wants to have name. I hate to tell you this, but it sounds like the audience has come down with a croup. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. This Try this one now, Doris, and tell me. Well, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got one of these salted. Well, just try it and, and see if that's any better with the salt on it. I really wish I had dredged that through salt before. I but no. I think they're quite good. Well, they, they really are. Mm -hmm. They really are. And I guess we're just about salt, ready here. Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. I was just going to smell to make sure that the hops were okay. Um, well, let's take these let's over take to the this table. Over to the table. And Doris, and you've got one there. Mm -hmm. Do we have a trivet out here for Doris? Oh, we don't, but we will. I, I can assure fun. you we will. There you go. There's that. This is hot. Well, we just have so much going on, I just don't know what to do. A trivet, a trivet. Yes, a trivet. I can't uh, find any. A, oh, I have some hot pads here. Here we go. You can put it right in there. Watch me trip What's Doris. That? Oh, how humiliating. <laughs> Doris has gotten hung up. Okay, Doris. I need, I need a spoon. Oh, and you can, she's got to have a spoon. I'll, uh, there we go. Uh, keep <laughs> going. Doris, there you go. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Well, this certainly is a beautiful looking meal. If you put your plate over here, I'll be happy to dish Serve it out. You. Serve it out. Lord, they're just signifying left and right. They're crazy today around here. Crazy. Sit down, stand up, move to your right. Here you go. Thank you. Now you want to try that bean salad. I have tried it, it is fabulous. Mr. Johnson's bean salad. That's is great. that a home Thanks. recipe? Yeah. Well, here we go. What do you think of it, Doris? It's good. See, now well, it's it's, it's yeah. real interesting with Ooh. the applesauce. Ooh, this smells so good. It really does. We have prepared an entire meal. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, let me try the uh, the, meat is really tender. the salad du legume, <laughs> the legume salad. Mmm, that is good. That's delightful. Mm. Wonderful. Now the venison I haven't tried yet. The venison is very tender and delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is venison. My vet wanted me to cook raccoon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that wacky vet. Oh, well, well. I, I think, Doris, it'd be a good idea if you stayed away from that vet. <laughs> I was afraid you were going to tell us it was goat or something. No, no, it, it, it is. Or it's, uh, monkey meat or something. I got a venison the last couple of days of hunting season. Mm. And it mm. was a doe. I think they, they're better than the mm. They tasting. are. Well, Larry, mm. this is a delicious mm. meal. To end our season. <laughs> We've come to the end of a perfect season. Now, we'll continue to be on. Oh, yes, in rerun city. Right. Mm -hmm. And so if, uh, if your station doesn't carry us next week, you write and let them know about it. That's Call right. them. That's Tell right. them about it. Bye. We'll still be here. Bye.